and direct. Rock and cut. First and foremost, make sure you click the link in the descriptions and make sure you go follow Rock and Cut ASAP. Like, don't even wait around. You go follow him <clears throat> ASAP. Now, I wanted to give everybody an understanding and example of the boxes your gel comes in. They come in here. Now, some people have been having their gel bust open. That was because my ceiling wasn't together. So what I done was I made sure I sent it right back out to you guys the correct way. Now, it's been a very, 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 very long month here. These last couple of weeks has been heavy. 300 orders, and guess what? I'm down 25. I want everybody to be thankful that we have each other. See, I'm here to give you guys the gold, and you're here to make sure that I take the funds and continue to what? To get the gold. Without the gold, guess what? We're not healthy. We're not earning. We're not feeling good. We're not happy. We're sad. So at the end of the day, make sure you get yours. And, um, you know, when it comes, all you got to do is this. Look, it's just that easy. Look. See that? Comes right open. Bow. Boom, bang. 64 ounces. Yeah, some say, oh, it's this many ounces. Listen to me. This pouch right here can hold up to 64 ounces of gel. It's up to what you put in there. And it's up to what you're putting in there. See, I have a very rare species of sea moss that no one has. They're going to hate. They're going to talk. But we don't care. We let the people get it in their body, and we go from there. Mm -hmm. Now, with me and Rock, we wanted to kind of, mm -hmm. like, get caught up into what I would say the past month. So, Rock can kind of help you guys. He can pick up from where we was just trying to give the people to understand what happened to Ab and the, the men and what's next for them now? Oh man, we, well we we really just wanted to, we really just going to kick it about you know what's going on because we we had we had these you know com we call them conversations amongst men man exactly and sometimes we just turn the camera on man let y'all hear some of it that's all we really doing we ain't, we ain't got no serious agenda or nothing like that man so so everybody when we do these things you got to make sure that we pay attention you know what I mean youngins that's the whole thing sit down pay attention that's, that's the whole thing about man when you when you dealing with some honorable men man every time you hear an honorable man say something man. Need to listen, man. That's what it's all about. We we try to have something to say. You know, like we're not just doing the rhetoric. We want to give you a message. You have to have a message in it. And it's all geared to the youngins. Rebuild we once destroyed. That's what it's all about. Stop so recycling when we, crime. When we talk about stuff that these suckers doing, we we talking about it because we try to get you to understand don't go that way. It's not beneficial, man. Because it's gonna cost you to do something stupid, man. Something that's dishonorable. Dishonorable, like, man. Don't lose your honor, man. Like we were just thinking attack. about how a lot of change of events of things happening, like from Lord Reese being shot um, to Juicy World passing out, um, from the other guy, this guy who just robbed a bank, and you know. Let me ask you something, man. People is quick to jump to a conclusion. Man. It's horrible, man. You don't even want to wait until you get all the information. You, you, you everybody's quick. We got to be the first to report the news. Right. That's what it is. It's a view hop. Everybody want to be the first to report the news. So we see a story. Oh, such and such just got killed, man. Man, he not, man, he should have never did that, man. I told him about doing that. Right. You didn't even get the whole story. You didn't get the whole, you know, additional information. You don't know you what's got, going on. All you got was an initial news report. Could be a lie. Could Every, be a lie. Because like, just like the debate that we have going on, the debate about Malcolm X. Yeah. Everything on the news, I'm doing a lot of investigating on that, and I've been doing a lot of research for uh -huh. the debate. And a lot of stuff that the news put out was lies on Malcolm a lot of, you know, stuff the news put out on Elijah Muhammad, there were lies. So at the end of the day, we take what we see, us, our people, we take what we see and you know what we do? We say, damn, we run with the news and the news is a complete lie. Let me tell you something, man. The first thing they do in a court case, when they get somebody on stand, they have to introduce themselves, the right. very first thing they do is now we need to talk about your credibility. Is the source credible? Is the source so the credible? People, the... the the information that people get nine times out of ten, they didn't get it from a credible source. Exactly. I just seen my cousin post something. Oh, now I'm snatching a post and I'm going to start to talk about it. So, you didn't even see if this is credible or not. Like, you you just seen somebody who had nothing to do with this situation. They seen a random ass post somewhere and then they posted it. Didn't You don't know where they got that from so that nobody verified the source. Nobody people cared quick, to. Nobody cared to. They quick to see a story and run with it and then put their own twist on it. Like, who in here? No, you were, you don't even be knowing what you're talking about. You don't have the knowledge of something, so why speak on it? And my religion, it speaks on that. Like, you know, you shouldn't have, 
You shouldn't speak on something you have no knowledge on. Mm. You know, you go talking. This young man who they said robbed the bank and all this other negative stuff about how he flashed the money. People are laughing at him. When he, he robbed the bank? Well, he's supposed to work for the bank. and Okay. They're saying allegedly that he... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, somebody, yeah, he was, also, case, he was trying to cut a corner according to the, to right. the reports. He was now, cutting a corner. The corner he cut, he cut it, as they say it, right, yeah. allegedly. My thing is this. What if he didn't cut the corner? What if he was a kid that just was working in the bank, somebody bamboozled him right. and tricked him to doing something, and now he think he earning and he like, well. What if it's more to the story? That's it. We don't got the, we got the quick, the quick report. He ain't even been found guilty of nothing. So people we are like judge. guilty and on putting yeah. guilty on Absolutely. Him. That's because everybody want to be the first to voice their opinion. I want to say it before everybody else said. it. I want to say that he was a nut. He should have been who posted on social media. Everybody on social it's media. Like first, blogs, it's like 30 blogs. It's like 30 blogs I've seen <laughs> hey, me, that run. done it. Now, what I do understand, just me being an entrepreneur and working with YouTube, right. I do understand that certain topics, certain discussions, you know, we got to, boom, they jump on. You gotta, I used to chase that at one time because I knew that I could have the youngest pay attention when I mentioned somebody. Remember, I was just saying, <clears throat> I want to get back into pointing out the big icons, the big people that the the, mm -hmm. that, that the youngest can identify more, the ones mm -hmm. they watch on television, the one they, they look up to. I like snatching that honor more because it's like, it benefits the youth better. But you been you the difference is you being proactive with it. I'm not waiting for something to happen and right. then jumping on that story. No, I'm giving these youngers the information exactly. before they get to the you know, before it becomes a big story. A big I'm situation. already in here having conversations with the youngers, already talking about the pitfall that comes with these different this you know, with this lifestyle. So I'm not piggybacking off of a case that just happened and now I'm acting like I care. Oh yeah, that's why y'all shouldn't do that. You ain't even care yesterday. Yesterday, you wasn't talking about this stuff. You wasn't dealing with it. You ain't care about the youngest falling into that trap. Now, because somebody, you know, we see a report, somebody get busted for 30, 30 pounds or something. Yeah, that's why y'all shouldn't sell drugs. Look at him. He a clown. Yeah, he's this. He's yeah, that. You don't really care. You just talk like, about we, this is a hot topic. Right. So how do we judge that individual and we put that individual in a place like a prison atmosphere or even a school to help individuals because it's like, how can you help individuals that you're judging already? Right. If you're here for the community, how can I actually judge and go baffle this one and that one when we know that that's what they do? This is what this function goes on in our community. Yeah, we know that. that they, they be so we're not here to really beat them up for it right. or cuss them out. This is my thing, and I, I know what you're saying by that. It's like... We understand. Let's. We understand. We all trying to earn. Everybody right. figuring their way out. Right. At a time, we all earn that way. Exactly. Right. So I'm not really going to beat you up, but so much for you trying to earn the way that I once earned. Exactly. I want to get the ones coming that hasn't started it yet to understand. Like, listen, man. I'm telling you, I done went down that road. You don't want to do it. it. it I, but I ain't it, trying to beat up the ones that's doing it, man. Come on. It's man. almost like you got to figure it out on your own. It's man. almost like the example of a crash dummy. Yeah. You see that guy go head first into the wall, boom, he crashes. I tell you, yo, don't do that. Yeah. Same car, same model, don't get in that car, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. We, and we you get that. in and you crash, boom. It's like, young, we're trying to stop you from doing what we've done. Yeah. We can help you. You know how far you can get listening to that? You know how high in life that you can get? If I was younger, right. listening to an OG telling me, you know the juvenile joint, you come out there and sit for a minute. I mean, anybody trying to hear what he's talking about? Yeah. Getting straight to it once I once I show. Well, That's your mindset. Right. <laughs> you get to it, but you end up back in jail because you do go. You know, you come out, you earn, you get some money, you got a nice car. Did you listen to the to the counselors and the OGs back when you was a young boy? Because everybody always say that. Like nobody ever told me the right way. Nobody ever told me. Right. I, I believe that's bullshit. I think no, they all always had... told me the right way, right? But you know what I always done? I found the way an inch to go outside of that. Like I'm gonna say this. I always looked at the OGs and the counselors and the old I just looked at them as corny. Yeah, like, oh, who I are they? So they were really didn't right. like I they what they were saying to me, I wasn't really taking heed. I was just like, come on, man. Yeah, like please. Like they wasn't the ones who had the lore. It was the streets that was more Oh uh, yeah, more, more of a drag. Yeah, they, they, like if my OG told more, me if my OG told yeah, me yo, it's different. It's like my OG, I'm going to tell you, I got an OG named, named Big Wayne. Yeah. he been on the street for years. Good man. I mean, honorable man. Let's not even talk streets. Let's talk the understanding of every time I went to him as a man. Yeah. He gave me example of, yo, don't go that way. I had a homie named Lord Donnie. Mm -hmm. Donnie and me, we grew yeah. up together. Donnie lived on Kamak Street. Donnie was a good dude. 
He had a sister named Cheetah, Chella, Chella, something like that, dark skin, she could read on, whatever. But nonetheless, one day we ran up on my OG McLaren. He got a black and gold jaw. So when we run up, he like, damn, what's up, Lil Hodge? You good? You, you know, you need something? You need a couple of dollars? I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm all right. Like, he like, no, let me see y'all sneakers. He went in his pocket and gave everybody, he gave me and my man 500 apiece. Mm -hmm. And everybody behind us, like 200. Is that Honorable Seymour? She's out there, man. Yeah, well, you know, it's damn near the same because sometimes the electrons. Yeah, ain't no Seymour. doubt. Because the electrons, though, <laughs> I want, I, this, this only reason why I honor Gatorade to a certain extent, I've seen them out of Queens. Yeah. So it was like, damn, if y'all showing some honor that way, yeah. I'm going to show some honor y'all way. So okay. this is why the honorable Gatorade is yeah, here. Yeah, but the gold is where it's at. The gold is where If we could come together, we'll <laughs> yeah. figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Man, I know you could get come the, together some mean, honor. I see you, you got a mean whip up game. Ain't no show question. you do something with the Gatorade mm -hmm. and, and the moss. And the, and the Ain't no doubt. Moss. We just get a little bit of more of that sodium out of, that, <laughs> out of this raid and we'll be, we'll be better. But yeah. the thing was, I seen different things going in directions that was negative and I had the opportunity to pull individuals. My man, Lord Donnie, he told him, he said to my, my old Big Wayne, he said, man, give us some work. Big Wayne looked at me. He said, what you think about that, Lord? I, I said, Shh, you know, I, I ain't think nothing of it. Yeah. He said, yeah, but because don't nobody sell no drugs. He said, I don't sell drugs. Y'all don't sell drugs. He said, there's other ways. You could be a doctor. You could be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. It gave me that same vision of the Goldie on the Mac when he was talking mm -hmm. to the youngins and he was telling them, don't say you want to be like me. Yeah. You can do you something else in life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And we got that understanding. When my, when my OG told me that, he told me that for a reason. That next week, my homie Donnie was shot in his head dead. Mm. Trying dead. To bust the corner. Keep trying to bust the corners. Every time he could, he would all, because he was like, I guess he was the only little boy in the house. His mom, he see them struggling. It was like, damn. He wanted he, to go earn. He wanted to go earn. Mm -hmm. But he was just like too much on it. Like, I remember one time we was driving, man, he was high. It's just show you the example of him. He was suicidal because we was driving and he was taking whatever drug he had. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody took pills and syrup and all that shit back then. So it's like, whatever he on, I'm thinking he on the juice. He keep this going dead on me though. Yeah. I'm while we driving, I'm like, yo, you're gonna kill us. And he like, no, my bad, I'm trying to. But here it is, he, he died the same way. No parameters. Yeah. No way yeah, of thinking. Of what's going on in front of you? What's, you go walk in the house. You just walk in the house. You don't even look in the cars on the block. Let me ask you something. He was getting the same game you was getting though. Right. Like your OG was telling when he was telling you right. what to do. You know, right. schooling you. You were schooling him too. Right. So what made him not take heed to it, but it made you sort of it like take heed? I was raised. Yeah. I, 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 you know, I wasn't raised to have an agenda for money. He had an agenda, like whichever yeah, way he would perform. Whatever it had to do when it come down to a dollar, yeah. he was with it. Like, me, I wasn't that kind. Like, I don't got no problem with us. But, like, if you're saying, like, yo, it's a robbery, we got to be my man, man, at that time for me to be like, all right, yeah. come on, let's go. Other than that, you can't just tell me, yo, we're going to rob this joint. It's this, that, and that. You know how many dudes I hear tell that story? Oh, man, go. You know, back in the day, that's what dudes come to you. Yeah, man, they got this and that in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You running yeah, there yeah, it's the police or it's well, niggas it, telling the you. The situation, ain't, it ain't what they made it seem It like. ain't what they said. But that's, that goes to what we just talked about a minute ago. You got to consider the source. Consider the source, man. This person, how you know all that in there? I remember I used to hear a bunch of stories. Dudes like, yo, yeah, such and such, uh, such such be having like 30 grand on him all the time. Like, hey, thank you, man, go hit him. Yeah, I how you know he, how you know got the whole number. How you know dude got thirty thousand dollars on him? He ride around with thirty dollars thirty thousand dollars in his trunk. How you know? Where you get that from? Like Jay said, broke niggas don't want no money. They just want to kill you. They just want to kill you. Do you see the big thing they got going on? What? With Jay Z, they're saying that the girl doesn't write. Like I've heard oh, this before. Press? Yeah, but they're going deeper. They're saying even, like, like yeah, that ain't even new. That's. Public information. So, are you thinking she was a clear CI? Is this it, good for hold on, our community? Like, what's I don't this? know. But listen, let me say the fact that you meant that's the this? fact that you is not even it's not even hearsay, right? Like, because I'm seeing a lot of people take up for oh, she was a single mother, she had a kid, this, that, the third, she had to do what she had to do to get back to her kids. No, she was complicit. She was a hustler. Right. She wasn't just somebody who got caught up in it. She was a hustler, and then she wore a wire and set people up. 
Like, oh she was a C. It ain't no. Because I heard no, Fat Joe was, you know, like. All of these dudes, a lot, the, the whole reason. industry, basically. Anybody dealing with Rock Nation or Title is affiliated with a CI at the top. There's no question. I'm serious, man. They this getting is in the, sick. Listen, man, they getting in the videos. This is lady. sick. They, no, they, this is sick. They at her. She is, a, she is in the culture. So, so without so. anybody choosing, you know, because we got the crowd. The crowd is going to say, Man, "Listen, we oh, always talk look, about it." But you know, the, the crowd is going to say, "King Run and Rock is just saying this about these individuals." Amen. So my thing is, I really want the crowd to understand. So y'all, y'all, y'all on six nine twenty four seven it's, it's about what he done. Y'all know about what six nine done. Everybody's Everybody there bashing. with you. You did. And it's cool to bash. And it's cool. We 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 there. Bash like, yeah, killing. But Brand. now, hold What's on. At the top we the got Jay Z, top of everything. You might as well yeah, say he's the king part. of New York. King of New York. What yeah. do we do? He we, is the king of the do culture. Do we crush I, Jay? Or I do heard we say, Nori say I want Jay Z to be the president of the culture for a union. So Jay Z is at the top of the food chain so in do this we, culture. Let me ask you this: So we do we? You know, we're going to have individuals that say, "What do the streets got to do with the industry? What do they have to do?" Do we excuse Jay and say, "Well, they don't really see each other should sign checks, no, and they do business," <laughs> or do we say? Hold on, Jay. I don't know. It's about answer. you being a the yeah, figure yeah, you are yeah. and a, and a person you and you not having to stand next to that person. What he said, um, it was all good just a week ago. Yeah. You know, do we do we hold him accountable? Man, do I we do do we excuse him? How do we man, carry listen. it? The comments, y'all gotta let me know this too in the comments. How y'all carry? We know how we carry. How y'all feel? Y'all you know we snatching <laughs> on and throwing shit. We ain't playing no games with it. Leaving, we not even going to see where it's at. They catch it. Yo, We're throwing it. It's Desiree just Perez. It's public information. Come on, she man. is a CI. Ah, no ah, questions, ah, no nothing. And it, ah, I, I, see dudes, I see dudes at her taking pictures with her. Too, that that, 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 that uh, video that he had that went viral. The John with the uh, damn they're good, too. I ain't, you know, I, we just got finished talking about that. I hate to say anything good about a rat, man. Yeah, because I don't want like, to say... Anything let them know why though. Let them know why though, so they'll know. Because I'm not, I'm not trying to co-sign any of your characteristics. Because their relevancy is gone. Yeah, you lost. You dishonored yourself. Once you dishonor yourself, I ain't got nothing good to speak on you. I'm never going to take up for a rat. Even if somebody is bullying a rat and they absolutely wrong, and to me, I'm like, nah, chill, lay off them. Right. If, if, if I feel like. If I feel like lay off them, I'm right. never going to say that for a rat. I'm just if anything, I'm going to say nothing. I'm going to just say, keep, keep my, you know, keep my two cents myself, man. He a 